I'm on Dinka one. Dink is on two. second. Uh, okay. Namira. Namira. Namira is, is on three. three. And I don't know who's on third, fourth. Okay. Know. Is there a fourth base? I don't know. I don't know. Fourth. <laughs> Go Capitals. All right. Woo! Uh, okay. So uh, you'll be coming in on two? Right. Yeah, we'll come in on two, but remember, I've got the camcorder set for a wide shot, so really use the, 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 uh, the, the camera guys uh, following around a lot. Work, work the camera. Okay, so Stay live with this camera a lot. Speaking of camera guys, how many cameramen do we have? Um, we have One. Me, and then maybe Bob. And then there's a guy over here with a camera. What about no, him? No, no, he's... he's yeah, is he going to be taping this else. tonight? Okay. Like yes, but... Uh, he's, he's Should we get the... Hi, I'm Rose, and I am with Ralph... Uh, Raph, Raphael Aaron Sibio. <laughs> Ralph. No, my... my I'm Ju... Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, right. All right. Hi, I'm Rose, and I am with Raphael. Hey, uh, Draculinda, how are you today, <laughs> hey, Rose? Rose. <laughs> I'm well. So, um, so I'm I'm helping uh, Jerry or Carlos Borloff with his uh, production for the uh, Monster Madhouse tonight here at Fairfax Public Access, uh, and um, it's a volunteer production. So it's uh, I'm a volunteer. It's his show, but you know we're a lot of us are volunteers. So uh, you have the people who are acting and, and you know participating in the program, but also the people who are behind the camera, working the audio board. We're also volunteers, and we we go through different trainings. As, as a member, we have access to the equipment. We can take classes, and we learn how to operate this equipment, uh, how to work the cameras, how to work the audio board, how to do the technical directing, and, and cut from camera to camera. And we learn how to uh, do different types of production, frame the shots, and how to how to sequence everything together to make a cohesive program. So, what are you doing tonight for Monster Madhouse? Well, um, as a technical director, um, it's kind of a kind of a big hat kind of thing. Uh, mo most of the time, it's just uh, cutting from one camera to the other and putting on a headset and t telling the camera operators inside the studio to zoom or pan in, focus on this character if they need to refocus um, the shot uh, to kind of help, you know, what whatever uh, Carlos is doing at the time, you know, do I have to zoom in, do zoom out and help create that story or narrative that he's trying to run with at the time. So it's a lot of anticipation and trying to trying to f follow behind him and, and, and get the best shot. Um, so he was uh, he was putting mics on the on all the talent. But he's not Mike. What's your name again? Brian. Brian. That's the Brian guy. Yeah. Uh, Lady Lulu. See, he gets all the fun jobs. See, one time we did a show, I had no shirt, and I had to actually clip the mic to my chest hair. I do pretty, remember that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It worked. It's part of the show. Yeah. 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 No, it's talking about life of Brian. Uh, Kevin, do you have any advice here? I've never mic'd somebody wearing a corset. Yeah, I'd put it just right there. You can put it right here. Yeah, but then how do you hide the wire? You just hide the wire behind her wire. No, um, slide it through. Who are you? Okay, so this is the transmitter. This is a uh, the lavalier microphone. So I take it, stretch it out, make sure there's no kinks or knots in it. Plug it in. Turn it on. Make sure that there's a full battery in there because you don't want it to uh, die in the middle of production. I make sure that the receiver for this is on. Uh, the audio board, I just slide the channel up. Make sure that it's synced up. And I go and testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Working on Monster Madhouse is fun. Ahead. Okay. And then that's checked, done. Wrap this up. Put it back in the first bag. I do it again for the second and third and fourth and fifth. We also have a wireless microphone that's in here, and this goes to channel six. Okay, and all right, channel six is ready to go. Because you never know if you have a special guest or someone that you know, may or may not have a wireless microphone on them. 
and uh, now I can go and take these microphones and wire them and clip them onto whichever character, actor, person that'll be on stage that I need to. Over here, <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Over here is our uh, this is the technical directing board. So what will happen is that we have up here cameras one, two, and three. And uh, let's see. So camera two will be live. And then uh, so the, the, the box on the top right is what would be recorded on the final, on the tape. And what's in the TV, the green box is called preview. So that, that would be, if I have this headset on, I'd be talking to the person. Hey, person on camera one, I need you to swing to the left and zoom in and you know, get just Jerry's head. And the person on camera two, zoom out and get the whole bunch of people. And then when I'm happy with that, then I can just switch over to the other camera as needed go back and forth and frame the shots and uh, I can go fast, I can go slow, I can do, there's the classic white, you have to do the slow, you have other stuff that you can do and you can also go to pre-recorded media or static images so we can do things like uh, if we had a, a video, we can pull things in off a laptop. If we, you know, I've done things in other other programs where we've inter interviewed people through Skype and had them through the video input of a, another computer. So we could use one of these other computers and do that. And we get the audio channel that goes through the main board. So we can interview people from that aren't here in other countries, things like that. Lots of fun. So, you know, we, we have a lot of great technology set up in a way that gives us a lot of ability to be very creative. Now, the, the hardest part about Monster Madhouse is you don't know where he's going to run to next. So it's, so it's a lot of jumping around back and forth. So when, once we get started in filming, it's, it's, this becomes important, but also good communication with the camera operators. We're watching the people at home there. Can you see the guy in there with the... Uh, oh, the one in the far back? Is that a... What is that, a banana? No, I don't think so. Well, that's a Dorito. It's Doritos look it's, good, man. It's, it, I think whatever it just was, uh, uh, I think it's some uh, pizza. Now, you know, Monster Madhouse has been on TV for a long time. You can watch Monster Madhouse in Buffalo, New York on WBXZ television. WBXZ. Tune in and watch Monster Madhouse on WBXZ. Guess what? What? You can watch Monster Madhouse in Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, y'all. Hey. UHF TV, that's still a thing. What? Yeah, UHF uh, TV. WRTN in Nashville. Tune in. But right now, I can see these people. Yeah, are they one? Now, the movie... Wait, oh, what does she do? To another part of Pulgasari on Monster Madhouse. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, uh, that was pretty cool. I like that. That's a nice bathtub. All right, let's 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 back out of here. Get out. Of here. Oh. Trapped inside the mummy's tomb. Werewolf howls at the moon. Monsters roaming through the night. Warlock comes in for the fight Frankenstein, he cannot die Up to no good, he's electrified Madhouse, Madhouse Monster, Madhouse Zombies, dragons, demons spawn Who's gonna save us, who's the one? Fight these vile creatures Famous for their double features Monster Madhouse, what a thrill Rock the monsters against their will They're coming in for the kill Madhouse, Madhouse Monster, Madhouse
trapped inside the mummy's tomb. Werewolf howls at the moon. Monsters roaming through the night. Gorlock comes in for the fight. Oh, Frankenstein, he cannot die. Up to no good, he's electrified. Hi, I'm Rose with Behind the Set, and currently I am on Monster Madhouse with Jerry Moore. So, Jerry Moore, what can you tell us about Monster Madhouse? Who? Oh, Jerry Moore. Oh, yeah. I'm Carlos Borloff right now. Hold on, let me breathe in the bag. <laughs> you got to get your own carbon monoxide going on. To do TV shows, you got to stress out really bad. As you know, you shoot it, you edit it, you direct it, you do the sound, you do the catering, you do the thing, you pick up the stuff, you do the makeup. You got to do everything. It's just like if you're going to start a band, you got to do everything. How am I? I don't know. Ask me 10 years ago how I was. I was fine. No, but doing television is wonderful. It's fun. And uh, 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 really doing actual broadcast television it goes out into the people that don't even look, they're not even looking for it. They're watching TV, flipping channels, and there's you. They're like, ooh, who's that? And they see me and they're like, oh, turn the channel. But yeah, television's great. The internet's great too. In the past 10 years, everything's changed, but you know. Now you can be on the web and TV and the thing and Roku and, um, you know, sometimes I get more views with a sign in my front yard, lemonade stand. As a producer, what do you do as a, you produce and host? Well, I zip up microphone bags. <laughs> uh, hear that? You zip up microphone bags is what you do. No, you do everything when you produce. It depending on who your team is, sometimes it's just you. You might produce something all by yourself, sit down and go, I'm going to produce a thing that says, the end, the end. You know, uh, so you put people together. That's really what producers do. You, you get people together, you find a subject, you capture it on video or take pictures of it, whatever, and broadcast. Get it out to people. Make it, put it together. So being a producer is a very general term. Uh, you have to do everything. Being the producer, sometimes you're the director and the art director and the filing clerk and the mailing guy and, you know. <laughs> so yeah, you do, a, you do a lot, you do everything. Sometimes you bring your own camera on the show. So why do you bring your own camera on the show? Just for legal reasons, in case I need to sue myself someday. I'll have video of myself doing things that I don't remember. No, no, no. It's so I can catch my own footage. Just to have that extra camera. Uh, a lot of directors would do that. When they're running set, they'll just have a stuff everywhere. And I'll tell you what, sometimes that just having that extra camera in the corner on a tripod has saved the day. Because you get that one long audio track of the room sound. Or, um, you know, you can just grab the camera real quick, shoot some crazy behind-the-scenes stuff, and bribe people with it later. Where did you get the idea of Monster Madhouse, and how long has it been around? I got hit in the head, and uh, then it all happened. But yeah, when I was a kid, you know, watching these kind of shows on TV, and uh, the opportunity came along later in life. I wanted to do a music show, and I'm like, ah, I'm going to do a clown show. <laughs> hey, kids. No, it's a horror show, kids. It's horror. 
monsters, really. But, you know, uh, we grew up watching this kind of stuff, and it's a necessary thing, uh, rehashing an old idea that's been around since broadcasting began. Silly people doing silly things on TV. And uh, we've been doing Monster Madhouse now since uh, late 2005, so really we're in our 13th year. 13, this many years. So what kind of background have you done behind Monster Madhouse? Green and purple. Oh, background. Oh, geez. I don't know. Just really just, you know, encompassing all the stuff into one, you know. Music shows, comedy shows, monster movies, uh, ripping stuff off and being a pirate, you know. Any interesting stories that happened on the show that's never been seen on camera? <laughs> I can't say anything. <laughs> I'll get sued. No, it's uh, I'm under legal uh, restriction. I'm not allowed to talk about it. There's a lot of crazy fun. Of course, tons of fun stuff. Yeah, but uh, gosh, uh, pff, where do I start? You can imagine. Yes, lots of great things. We've met thousands of people, and um, you know all the good stuff happens uh, you know, after the show in the trailer out back. It's like a carnival, a bunch of carnies. But you travel around, you know, meet people. Yeah, too many stories to, uh, you know, this is a family show, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, you know. A lot of good, wholesome, good, clean fun, kids. But anyway, we're getting ready to do a show right now, Monster Madhouse. You're on Monster Madhouse. I know. You know I was just surfing around Facebook one day looking for people like, gosh, we need some crazy vampire chick for the show. And I saw her and I'm like, she could be a crazy vampire chick. And I wrote to her and she didn't think I was a stalker, which was mistake number one. I could have got right in your house. And boom, she showed up and uh, Draculinda was born. And here she is over a year later, you know. Fun stuff, and uh, we're getting ready to do one tonight. Yeah, and what's that about? I, I'll let you know after it's done. <laughs> you know, Monster Madhouse, you know, like that. All right, is there anything else you'd like to share? I'd like to share some gum. I brought enough for everybody. <laughs> but you like some? It's Wrigley's. I don't think they work well with my braces. <laughs> You don't like gum with braces gum as well? <laughs> that was braces. Yes, right. Well, we'll get you some, some, some Tic Tacs. Do you like Tic Tacs? Tic Tacs, Tic -tacs are, good. are good. We're going to go get her some Tic Tacs and some gum for all of you after these messages on Behind the Set. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back my hat. No. I, actually, come here, gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. Let's put the hat on the monkey one time. Now, monkey. look at that. Now, nice. that's pretty stylish. You got your ancient monster gorilla attack uh, thing going on. Yeah, man, it's pretty cool. Oh, the mash. He's doing the mash. He's doing the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. But anyway, you know what? Please go to monstermadhouse.com and check out so much more of our stuff. You can get a t-shirt of, of, of Screamer the Clown. You can get Dinka doll stuff. You can get a Lady Lulu, life-size Lady Lulu poster for your door kids where's she at here here they, they go to camera three here got a lady you can get a life-size lady lulu ling, 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 for your bedroom for the next row i'll have it signed hey that's a pretty nice shot there man <laughs> what is uh, going on you got the cape i see you just flew in i am casting spells i am Exonerating <coughs> exon <laughs> all the evil spirits. Do me one of the, show me how you do the thing with the fingers, man. Evil Look at that. spirits. Look at him. Evil oh, 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 she's oh. down, she's down, okay. Oh. Be gone, evil spirits. I gotta be learn that trick. Be gone. Be gone. Oh. 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 Wow! Oh. Yeah, God. And an exorcism! Oh. That's exorcism. pretty good exorcism. You must be good friends with Bill Cosby, man. Oh. Yeah. Hey, a woman out in about five seconds. No. no. So what, you were telling me a story about, uh, what, what, about your past, uh, about your history. Uh, where are you from? What are you? I am from Transylvania. Yeah, Trans Transylvania. That's over near, uh, that's up over the uh, Mason Dixon line. It's just line. north of the Mason Dixon line. Right, right. Trans. No. What? Did you put a trans on them? You know where he's from? Come here. Hershey? 
Transylvania. 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 And she, she's a vampire. Uh, Transylvania. The Transylvania Turnpike. How did you get here? I came by way of tree. A tree. <laughs> tree. You take the tree out and you make it into a large broom. Oh. And it is jet propelled and you can fly. Fly with a wizard. I think I saw that parked out front. It was in my spot. But anyway, we're going to cut to the second part of Pulgasari, a monster madhouse. Whoa! Man, I forgot to say, this is a North Korean movie. You know, there are no copyrights. <laughs>